Uh, I'm Chris Ward from uh, Chris Ward Outdoors, and I just like to go over you with uh, all my hunting equipment from guns, bow, and all the accessories that comes with it. And um, like to go over with all everything what I'm going to use for uh, this year's deer hunting season, and it's 2012. Um, it's currently August, and our uh, deer season starts here in North Carolina, September 8th. Uh, so, um, bow season. So, you know, I'm going to be up there in the stand bright and early, Saturday morning, up there waiting on that big old butt walk through. Which, um, but, uh, so, first things first, we're going to go with uh, small game and then work our way on up and, uh, everything. So, um, first up, this is, uh, my Remington Airmaster. Um, I got it at Walmart. My other little Remington Airmaster got a little too short for me. I got it when I was probably about 10, 12 years old, something like that. And so I'm like crimped up for the youth bottle trying to shoot squirrels. And it doesn't really help that much. So, uh, but uh, this is a multi shot. And um, it, it did come black. So then I put uh, Mozzie Oak uh, camouflage on it. You know, this duct tape. So, uh, yeah. Duct tape fixes everything. So, um, but it is a uh, .77 caliber, basically, and then you're 17 without the gunpowder. So um, it does travel um, velocities. I think is 800 to 1,000, depending on how many pumps you make. And so uh, I actually use this for strictly squirrel, rabbit, and uh, sometimes snakes. They get up in the yard, so I gotta I get rid of them. I don't like them. Too much in the yard, but uh, so. But they are, it, this is really great to get rid of the raccoons that crawl up on my porch every now and then, uh, especially during the winter time when I have fire stove going. They let it come apart, keep them warm, and <laughs> uh, uh partner, you ain't still on my fire. That's for dagging on short. But uh, I like this gun. Um, it's very compact and everything. It's very light, and very accurate as well. But uh, I'm not talking. Just so you can go out there and get one. But it's pretty cheap. I think it's like a 74 or something at Walmart. So, um, that's for squirrel hunt, rabbit, and everything else. Kind of small game gun. And so that brings us to, uh, I like to call it Old Faithful. But uh, you call it whatever you want. Um, <laughs> this is the cannon. I call it the cannon. Um, this is uh, actually not my... Uh, my gun. This is uh, my neighbor's gun. He let me borrow it for this year, and hopefully, cross my fingers. Hopefully, he lets me buy it from him because I love this gun. I fell in love with this thing. And if you're a gun lover like me, you, <laughs> you hate to have a gun in your hand and not take it home. Uh, but th this is a 12 gauge. It's a Stevens, made by Savage Arms, and uh, it's a Model 311. So it's pr it's pretty old. Um, I don't know, I think he says a little over um, 30 years old, maybe 40 years old, he said. But uh, the reason why I call it a cannon is because it's got a big 30-inch barrel on it, and it's a double barrel. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And uh, it's 12-gauge, and the cool thing about this gun is the left barrel is choked, but the right one is not. And um, the front it is a double trigger. And everything. Um, front trigger is for the right barrel. Back trigger is for the left barrel. So, and I never keep none of my weapons um, loaded whatsoever. I don't want accidents to happen, and they can and they will happen. So uh, I try to avoid as much as I can, because um, you can be as clean and preventive as you can, and still something does happen so I uh, try to avoid it as much as I can and uh, it's pretty cool and the safety is back here it's a little flip thing like that and you just flip it up slide it back and everything I love this gun it's a huge I mean it's a cannon it's a cannon so, yeah this is strictly for whitetail um, I actually been crow hunting with this this year um, we got a bunch of crows here right behind my house and everything I hear they eating my uh, farmer's corn that I hunt off of his land. So he wants them all gone. 
I'm like, I don't know if I can get them all already going, but I'm pretty sure I can get a bunch of them going. So I got about 16 this year, and uh, good eating too. If you ain't never tried a crow, try it. You may like it, you might not. Some people say it tastes like chicken, but it don't. It don't. They taste like a crow. So um, this is this is what I'm gonna hunt for whitetail this year during gun season. It comes in November 16th, 17th, somewhere somewhere around in there. So um, but uh, this is uh, for big game. Like white tail. It shoots uh, only two and three quarter shells, so probably the only thing I'm probably going to use out of this is um, probably a number four buckshot for 12 gauge out of this. So I'm really excited to start hunting with this. I love shotgun, especially it's a double barrel, so I love it. So, but um, and that brings us to my darling. This is. This is the shotgun that my grandfather passed on down to me. And, um, you know, gun lovers and stuff like that as well. You know, your dad, your grandpa, your uncle, your grandma, your mom. Hey, I'm love. I'm glad to see women hunters in, out in the outdoors now hunting, fishing. And I love it. I love to see women in the outdoors. Nothing gets me more fired up than a woman in camouflage. Ain't that right, boys? <laughs> but anyway... Uh, this is a single shot, 20 gauge. Um, this is my bird shotgun. I'd hunt birds with it. Maybe some squirrels with it. So, um, this one's pretty cool. It's got 26 inch barrel. Uh, actually 25 and a half. But um, it's an H&R partner. Manufactured in uh, Massachusetts. So, it's an American made gun. That's what it says here. Sometimes I don't trust labels. Good thing it didn't say China. And they're right. But uh, when I hunt turkey, I use three, three inch uh, Remington Nitro turkey. And um, so that's what I use for it. And uh, I only hunt um, dove, quail, pheasant, grouse. And uh, starting to hunt waterfowl this year with this. Some of y'all think you might, I might be crazy, you know, hunting with a single shot. But. I like break actions. Um, if I get a rifle, it's going to be a single shot. So I'm looking forward to getting the, the Rossi uh, Wizard in 308. I love that count. But my brother's like, why would you get a 308? He's a 270 guy. He's a 270. So, uh, but that's, uh, that's my shotguns and my little air master there. And so that brings us to my most favorite thing to do. And my passion, since uh, about two years ago, uh, started bow hunting then. And um, last year, around this time, I think it's September when I got it, um, my first bow. Uh, this is uh, my Martin Sabre. And um, I love it. It's set at 60 pounds. Um, I, of course, uh, my draw length is 27 and a half, so I think it probably went up to about 28. Probably need to get it uh, resized a little bit here. Um, but it's set at 60 pounds. Uh, it shoots at whopping 320 feet per second, which I didn't expect that whatsoever. And the uh, bad thing is, I haven't killed anything with this yet. Not even a squirrel. So uh, this year, looking forward to... Uh, at least trying to get one. I've, I've shot and shot and shot and shot and shot and shot some more at some deer with it. And I ain't got a thing. So, but uh, I do have the Manus Stabilizer. Stabilizer. Rest. Could have V8 on that one. But um, the Manus uh, Rest right here. Um, Barton Archery, I know they, they sell this. And uh, I got this at Dick's, and uh, really, it was kind of cheap. I think uh, I got it right after, or right before deer season came in. So they had a little sale going on, and uh, originally it was supposed to be 400 and some dollars, and I got it for 320 Ha ha. Got it at Dick's Sporting Goods. We went to Gander Mountain, and I was like, oh. So uh, me and my dad went and got it. I shot it. I fell in love with it. I like it. I love it. It's my baby. I have a bow mance. Okay, I love my bow. Just don't, don't tell my better hat that I said. 
Um, so, True Ridge site on it. Uh, I like this site because of one one thing. It glows in the dark. <laughs> it glows in the dark. I love it. Walking through the state and everything. And, uh, yeah, I do have a light. And the reason why I have that, here in North Carolina, they just passed this year where we can hunt hogs and coyotes at night. And I love it. And I've been coyote hunting. I've seen some coyotes and stuff. And uh, they would not come in the bow range. Just one not. So, um, working on that. I know some of you might have questions about me, what I have on my string here. Pretty sure that was your first concern, but it is rubber bands. Um, so I'm like, oh my god, are you going to ruin the bow? Nah. What do, you, what do you think the leeches and, you know, the monkey tails that Matthews makes put on your bows? It's made out of rubber, you know, or some plastic. And these right here, they never come off. Yeah, they, they'll start to... Um, and all that other stuff, and they just pull off, and you know, she you can get a big old bag of them for what, like maybe 75 cents at Walmart, and you know, that, that's a lot. And you know, I just tie them on there and wrap them up, and then tie them up there. And they actually help with uh, silencing your bow, so uh, you can try it if you want to. But uh, I'm not saying that's a good thing to do, but uh, it actually worked for me, and uh, I just experimented with it, and it seemed to work. It does quiet the bow down because my bow used to make a loud thump. Now it don't make a thump, it makes a thump. So pretty quiet. <clears throat> Oof, cute my there. But, um, and another experimental thing, I actually made my own stabilizer. And, um, it works. It sounds as the bow down too. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I made out of it. It's a secret. So I'm not giving away my secrets. Um, so, oh yeah, I love this bow way too much. <laughs> if you're like me and you're pretty rough on your bow, I'm going to put some bow wax on here before I uh, go hunting and I need to practice a little, a little bit more. So, um, but, uh, you know, if you're like me, you take care of your bow and stuff. I mean, people at Martin Archery, I mean, they know how to make their bows. I love it. It's light. It's compact. I think the I think it's like from here to here is like 32 and a half. So uh, I love the bow. It's accurate. I mean, it's deadly accurate. I mean, a bow is gonna be as accurate as a shooter. So um, the bow's pretty accurate. I love it. And uh, so what I'm shooting through my bow is um, a 30 inch. Easton Raider. Again, yeah, this is Dick's. But the broadhead I'm shooting is a Walmart broadhead. I think I think the broadhead's not a muzzy. I think it's a net or Allen or something. Something like that. I don't know, I forgot what it's actually name is, but uh, my arrow itself is 240 grains, and I'm shooting a 100 grain uh, broadhead. So yeah, 340 grains, and uh, there's just Eastern Raiders, and I like to fletch it on these things. Now, some people say, you know, Eastern makes the greatest arrows in the world. They're strong, they're durable, they're everything. And they're right. I mean, they're terrific. This one right here, I mean, I've shot these arrows a bunch of times. A bunch of times. And I've only got four left. Because the other two I lost. That's when I was a really bad shot. I'm told I'm still a bad shot. <laughs> but, uh, I'm trying to get better. So, um, but yeah, practice with your bow. It's not like you put a rifle in your hand and, uh, you know, you can hit decent with it. With a bow, the slightest movement, you know, it's going to throw you off. But, uh, this, this one I hunt with, uh, Whitetail. Of, Hunted turkey with it, and uh, looking forward to hunt coyotes with it. And one day, cross my fingers again. Hopefully, I can go down the coast here in North Carolina and hunt some coastal black bear, or go up the mountains and hunt some black bear. I know some people are like North Carolina's got black bear. Yeah, we got black bear. We got hogs too. <laughs> so uh, that's my equipment that I'm going to be 
hunting with and uh, using. Hopefully I'll get to see them video. Uh, last year I didn't get too much on video. My, I got a camera and then it got wet and then it got dropped out of a tree stand and blew it. So, but all in all, I had a pretty good season last year. Um, really good season. And because of that right there, you'll see it in a minute. But uh, go ahead, I'm gonna go over, over my calls real quick. Oh, release. This is Walmart release, twenty bucks. Okay, that's not bad. Um, but I'm gonna go over my calls right quick. Uh, but the, I've got three types of deer calls. And uh, this is supposed to have that little hole thing there. But my nephew said he wanted to play with it and he popped it off. Then, yeah. It's gone. I don't know where it is. But it's okay. I mean, kids, they, you know, they get into everything. So, he's about this high. So, but, um, I got my little, uh, little one here. It's, hands, it's supposed to be hands free and everything, but I still put my hand on. And, um, I think this is, this is a Promos. I got three different types of calls here. I got Promos. HS call and a flex tone. The reason why I have those is because you have three different sounds. Now, when I take, um, I don't have my rattling horns. My brother took them from me last year, and I never seen them again. Those of you that have brothers, you know what I'm talking about. Me and brother compete like brothers, basically, but uh, three different sounds. This one's got a weird sound to it. Doesn't sound too great, but um, I like this one. This one's actually set up phone. So yeah, I like it. And this one's a weird. It isn't weird. I've stepped on it, so I think I probably broke it a little bit. But it's a weird sound. Sounds like a monster butt, but. Um, uh, these are my three buck calls, deer calls, and everything. So that's probably what I'm gonna be using. But most of the time, I don't really don't use calls. I just sit there and wait on them. I'll either hunt out the ground, I'll either hunt out of a stand, or hunt on the ground, or in a ground blind. But uh, my favorite thing to do is hunt on the ground. You know, throw some sticks around me a little bit, and just lay back on a tree and wait. It's very relaxing. You know, when I want to go to sleep, I just go to sleep. It gets tired out there and gets a little bored every now and then. But um, I was like, how can you get bored out in, out in the woods? Very easily. When you're me, I get antsy. But uh, this is uh, my little dog from Promos, Cody Co. Cody and Predator Co. You can call it foxes, coyote, bobcat, and I even called a freaking black bear in the other night. Scared the bejesus out of me. I tell you, I, I just about had to come back home and change my britches. He came out 40 yards from me, and I, I heard something come through the corn, and I flipped the light on my bow, and I'm like, <laughs> uh-uh. Yeah, you talk about scared out of my wits. Oh, yeah. I hollered at him. He ran off. I packed my stuff up. I went through the house and went to bed. I didn't get up that morning. That's for daggone sure. I was like, <laughs> I'm out here, boys. So uh, they kind of they, they scared me a little bit. I wasn't ready for it. Um, I live in Central North Carolina, and some people don't believe. And while I don't believe, you know, we have black bear in Central North Carolina, but we do. Here in this small town of Mebane, there's three different black bears running around here. So, but uh, this is my Cody Cow, and you have two different sounds out of this one. It's pretty cool. This one's got a smaller and shorter. Uh, hole here that uh, takes less air to use and this one's a little bit bigger this one's for your mid-range you know it's a little bit louder high pitch gets out there a little bit and this one's for shorter range but you can still get it out there a little bit cool thing is you can take the barrel off you can just you can use them like this come on now really you're gonna do this on me I know it's a cow you're supposed to put your lips on it blow Now it does take a little bit more air. I'm used to this one. I use this one a lot. 
So uh, you can do same things on this one. You know, you just come right on in, and then the barrel makes it go a little bit better. You know, I'm not sure. Don't don't take any tips from me whatsoever. I'm still an amateur. So, uh, and this one I usually howl with, and you can howl with it very easily. You can do a bark. I'm still working, I'm still practicing, so I'm not the best thing going thing in the world. I have called some coders in, I actually called a little gray fox in the other the other day. Um, when you can hunt them during the day, you couldn't hunt at night, so I'd go out there and try to hunt them early in the morning. Or late at late in the afternoon when they're more active. So but uh, that's my coyote calls and everything. And uh so um of course I do turkey hunt and um this is, this would be Sally. This is Sally. Sweet Sally. This is an HS Strut by Delta Decoys. So I think HS stands for Hunter Specialties. That's what it is. Cool thing is you get these little sticks that break down. And so you can just take this stick in your back pocket and walk it across there. I throw them in my backpack and um, go out there. And, you know, this thing is not like this. I mean, look, you can just take this thing, pack it up. I mean, you can fold it, suck it up, fold it right on up there. You don't want to copyright with me. It's like everything else, I swear. Work good or off camera. Then you got to get on camera. Then you got to be all mean and everything. So I can fold it up like that, stick it in my backpack, take it out there, pop it back out. It's all mangled up and everything. Nothing the time is going to close down. just... There you go. She blows right on up until she's not plastic. She's plastic rubber material or something like that. And then uh, you just take the sticks, flip them out, lock them in place. Take it right there, stick it on up. And you have a little hole right here where you can put it in. But it doesn't spin as much as I would like for it to. So I just take it and I put it right here just in behind it to where when the wind blows, she turns a little bit. She just turns and spins. Again, Walmart. <laughs> so, uh, that takes us to the turkey calls. This is sweet salad. Right, I'm just going to lay you over there. I ain't going to stand you back up. Sweet turkey calls. First call I ever got was a mouth call. Took me a little bit to uh, master it a little bit. This is a raspy old hen HS strut call. And uh, this right here is a Little Juice Double Glass. This is also HS Strut. Little Deuce. Little, little Deuce. Yeah. Deuce. Deuce. And uh, I'm not really great with this. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to work on that one. But, um... That's alright. I got next year to do it. But, uh... I like this little thing. I hunted the uh, turkey, you know, shotgun and boat and everything. I love this thing because I can be at full draw or I can be up here like this. Huh. Turkey up here right there. It's almost like a dime. Tell you what, one day I went out there, just did. Ur, 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 ur. I kid you not, I had a gobble, gobber, gobbler. Hang on, I can't talk now. Go right in front of me. One gobble to the left, and one gobble to the right. And I'm sitting there with a shotgun. Like, All right, break me out. I'm like, okay, what do I do now? So, but then. Um, that's uh, most of my equipment. That, that's everything. No, okay, one more. One. Oh, yeah. I started using this dead down wind. 
uh, last year. It works. It works. I'm telling you. Uh, the cool thing about these are, see, I think I got them right here. Yeah. When you buy these things, they come with refillable packages. You know, you just, all right, now you don't put all, all of them in there. You put one of these, this is one ounce, and you fill the rest up with water, shake it up, mix it up together real good. Just add water. And I like that they did that. And uh, that's pretty cool because uh, you, know, you don't see Cineway do that. And I actually got um, this after seasoning that went out. And um, nine bucks for this wash machine, laundry detergent, and um, some body wash, hair, everything. It works. I mean, it does. My dad started using it. And um, I went to the store and I got me some. And, and Oh, yeah. Me and my dad, this is what we use. My brother still, he's hell-bent on staying with, you know, the old school stuff. Sent away. He's stuck with that. He's like, well, you can get a bunch of scents. You know, you can get it in pine. You can get it in fall, auto, autumn, and you can get it in regular. You can get it in new scent. You can get this. You can get that. So, that made my brother for you. But the uh, dead down wind, um, I like it. It works. You like whatever you like. I like what I like. And uh, we go with that. And uh, I know a lot of us just like, okay, they have all this different stuff for us to use. Like uh, Realtree, Mozzie Oak, Fusion, which is this just a Fusion shirt. Um, I've got most of my hunting clothes is Realtree. Most of them are. And I got some Mozzie Oak stuff and everything. Um, that's mostly what I use. But, um, and when I go... At night, in the morning, especially when my boat, I'll turn the light on and shine through it and everything. But uh, I use this. This says, uh, Promos Hunting Calls Speak the Language. Light. It's called the, the Mini Blood Hunter. It switches from a red to a green. Oh, it actually switched to green for me. And then it switches over from a red and a little bit of green. Then it switches over to a red and a green. And the barriers are low in this, so it's not going to switch over to both of them. So this green is actually showing just a little bit. And it's supposed to bring out the blood a little bit more and bring out, you know, bodily fluids and all that stuff with it. So um, I think I'll just stick with the light from CSI and the blue beam at the punch on. Might give me that. Then I, I might find my deer. As long as I probably never find them. But, um,. Quick hunting story right quick. First time ever seeing one. First time ever getting a shot at one. All right, now, I got it mounted. I seen everything that morning, including a blackberry. Seen turkeys, everything. Was in that field this morning, except for a daggone deer. And she starts to walk out. Yes, coyote. This is my first coyote. I had to get it mounted. Uh, I called Dad as soon as, got, as soon as I got out of the tree stand. She came running out. I whipped the 20 250 over. Boom, shot. She folds up. And uh, I, as soon as I get out of the stand, I called Dad. I'm like, Dad, I shot a coyote. He goes, are you sure it's a coyote now? I'm like, yeah, it's a coyote. And there was a second one that came out. I popped a shot at him. Didn't get it. He was like 200 yards full run across the field. So I didn't, I didn't get him. But I got her. And, um, oh, you're talking about an excited kid. <laughs> Shot it last year. December 7th at 7.45 in the morning. Whew, man, it was 14 degrees that morning. Felt like 14 degrees. I don't know. Probably it was like 20. I don't know. It was pretty cold that morning. When it eventually finally got cold last year is when she came out. So, uh, but she is full grown female. Um, and I shot her right here in the spine. Uh, taxidermy, taxidermist did very well. His name is Jay Campbell. Um, here in North Carolina, he lives out in Caswell County. Um, I know that's, that's all my mounts go to. This is my first mount though. 
Um, my dad's had bounces and stuff like that before. And first coyote, she's dear to me. Um, you know, hunting is all about respecting the animal. And this is one way, you know, you can respect the animal. And um, everything. I wanted, I wanted a full body. But, uh, you know, it had been like $700 to get her full body. So I was like, well, what about a skin amount? Okay, 100 bucks. All right, that's good. Good with for me. And I, I had her put on like this, and I just tack her up on the wall. You know, this what you're supposed to put on the ground, you know, but I'm not going to put it on the ground because uh, my dog, she likes to chew up everything. And um, so, yeah, it'd be one scattered coyote. But, um... She's real pretty. And uh, last year hunting season, this was the top thing. This was it. This was the thing that made it. Made it the best hunting season there was last year. And then, uh, including getting my buck. First buck off the property. I've been hunting does and does and does. But this first buck there took off the property. Um, First buck I seen that year, because uh, they weren't just in the rut. I know he's small, but hey, I wanted to I wanted to wait out for a buck that year, and this is the first buck I seen, and um, for the shot I've ever made on the deer, he was at 300 yards exactly, and uh, 2250 dropped him right in his tracks. I know, so you might not believe me, but he did, um, right in the spine. I was actually aiming for the shoulder, so when was a little carried away, so um, I got lucky. I love that gun. 2250. We can we can actually hunt, hunt deer over 2250 here in North Carolina. So uh, I love that old gun. It's my dad's rifle, so I, that's why I don't have it here today. If, I, if it was here, but uh, it's a Remington 700. Um, I love it. It's a fast bullet, 3,000 feet per second plus. It gun goes off, it's there. So, but um, I don't know, maybe small, maybe this, but there you go. It's my deer. It's my trophy. I like it. I love it. You know, you can go shoot your eight points. I don't care. <laughs> but uh, I had to put some uh, meat in the freezer, and um, this dude over here, the little three pointer shot. Uh, Two years ago, so, um, yeah. But that's my hunting stuff, and that's what I'm going to use for this year. Um, so good luck to y'all on this season of uh, deer hunting, black bear, moose, elk, caribou, whatever you're hunting with, whatever you're hunting for, and a ram, whatever y'all hunting with. Um, but good luck to y'all, and uh, like. Put a shout out there and thank all the men and women in green that's fighting for this country so we can be here and hunt. And anti-hunters, we know you're watching. And they're fighting for the country so that we can do what we do and you disagree with it. So, but I'm Chris Ward from Chris Ward Outdoors. Y'all take care and hey, good hunting. Be safe or your safety harness. Okay, don't be dumb. All right, y'all take care now. See y'all later.